Ryan Gosling, known for his roles in critically acclaimed films, recently expressed his thoughts on why the much-loved buddy cop comedy, The Nice Guys, failed to get a sequel. According to Gosling, the main culprit was none other than the Angry Birds movie, released on the same day back in 2016. In a recent interview, Gosling pointed out that both movies hit theaters on May 20th, 2016, while the Angry Birds movie soared to success, grossing an impressive $39 million in its opening weekend, the nice guys struggled, landing in fourth place with just over $11 million. Despite receiving positive reviews from critics and audiences alike, the nice guys fell short at the box office, ultimately earning $62.8 million worldwide against a $50 million budget. In comparison, the Angry Birds movie brought in a staggering $352.3 million globally, making it a commercial juggernaut. Gosling believes that the overwhelming success of the Angry Birds movie overshadowed the nice guys, affecting its chances for a sequel. While acknowledging the film's strong critical reception, Gosling hinted that its box office performance might have hindered potential plans for a follow-up. However, some analysts argue that the nice guys faced additional challenges beyond the competition with the Angry Birds movie. For instance, both films shared a demographic target audience, as they catered to older viewers. This overlap potentially split the audience, impacting the nice guys' box office performance further. Despite the setback, Emily Blunt, Gosling's co-star in The Fall Guy, praised The Nice Guys during the interview, highlighting its widespread appeal. Blunt shared a personal anecdote about her family's in 